Welcome everyone to the sixth annual 2021 AgTech Innovation Summit. We're thrilled to have such a great group of participants today. More than 900 of you registered for this event and we're thrilled to have a mix of both ag industry leaders, startup companies that are at the cutting edge of innovation, growers, including producers of livestock and those right here in the heartland that are growing corn, soybeans, and other types of crops that will feed our country. It is really important that we also recognize that we have many researchers from the university, from departments all across the University of Illinois, and participants from across many other universities and thought leaders that have joined us to talk about ag tech innovation today. We also have investors, we have students, and this mix of participants today, we think will make a great discussion. So thank you for joining us. We're thrilled to have you. We'd like to begin with a little bit of an orientation to what's happened in the last year. It's been an important year for us here at the University of Illinois Research Park. I'm Laura Frericks, and I'm the executive director of the Research Park, and I'll be sharing a little bit of some of the things that are happening with us here at the University of Illinois among our companies and the physical growth that we've had even during a challenging year of the pandemic. As we wait for that, I'll just say a little bit of uh, thanks to everybody who's participated as well. So to the College of ACES at the University of Illinois, I wanna thank our colleagues that have joined us that helped to plan this event today, including more than 50 speakers that are participating, many of whom have connections to the College of ACES. I'd like to thank our colleagues in the Office of Corporate Relations that helped to plan speakers. And I would like to recognize all of those different departments and leaders that contributed to the program ideas for today. If you'd like to follow along, please feel free to chat throughout this discussion. We will have updates in the chat. We are recording today's event, so you will be able to access these talks after our event. And we will have an ability to follow along on Twitter. So please use hashtag AgTech21 if you wanna see more of the commentary from those participating in today's event. So first, let me brag a little bit. I'm very proud to be an Illini and I'm proud of everything that's happened on our campus and in our community of Champaign-Urbana to advance AgTech in the last year. Again, it's been a challenging year, but nonetheless, one of the growth spots that we've had has been amongst this sector. So let me tell you a little bit about the year of progress that we've had. Now, of course, today is possible because many different participants, as I'd mentioned, are making this event possible, including our generous sponsors, many of whom have contributed to these success stories as well. So I'm going to talk about some of the openings that have happened, new companies in the last year, the growth of ag tech jobs, a little bit about the entrepreneurship uh, community and ecosystem that we have here, and some of the exciting research and facilities that have grown here at the University of Illinois and in our community. So last year we gathered and we were really excited to have two groundbreaking events, uh, I should say ribbon cutting events. And these included the grand opening of Cargill's Innovation Lab here at the Research Park. So it was just uh, a year ago in our Ag Tech Week that we were celebrating with our friends at Cargill Digital Labs and they opened this beautiful center. It was not to be able to use fully in the last year, but they have made huge accomplishments, whether they were virtual or in person or some combination of hybrid thereof. Uh, they are working on many prototypes. They've hosted hackathons. They've worked for new innovations in the food industry. They've used computer vision and other new techniques to be able to advance their company. Another grand opening that we celebrated just a year ago that we'll hear more about today as we have as a, a speaker in the afternoon is Genective. This company is a joint venture of KWS and Lemagrain, two of the largest ag companies in Europe who joined together for this new uh, company, Genective, and moved the headquarters from Paris, France to Champaign, Illinois, just about a year ago. And that company has seen tremendous growth. They opened laboratory suites here at the University of Illinois Research Park, and they've grown also their field staff at the Weldon facility, just a short distance from here where they are growing their crops. 
We've seen many other companies adding jobs here at the research park, and this includes significant growth, I'll mention, of new teams in some cases, including our friends at John Deere who have new full-time roles, including a new sensing team. But you'd see many of different types of positions that are being added in the ag tech innovation sphere here at the research park, including many opportunities for students to work here as well. And this also includes many specialty types of uh, functions that include everything from computational sciences to different types of modeling that you'll hear about throughout the day. Now, I'd like to recognize our John Deere leader, Mark Moran, who just did our inaugural podcast. If you want to learn more about what it's like to run an innovation center here on campus, and in particular, what John Deere is up to, check out our new podcast that just launched yesterday. It's available on Spotify, and you can download it in the uh, Apple playlist as well. It's a podcast there, so check it out, and you'll hear more in depth from Mark Moran. Site Selection Magazine also recognized us as one of the leading locations for ag. So don't just take our words for it. If you wanna read more about why this is a destination that companies are choosing for their agribusiness, uh, this is a location that continues to sprout new companies and new opportunities for entrepreneurs and for established companies to co-locate together. One of the ways that we're starting, start, we're launching new startup companies is through the first ag tech accelerator that we launched more recently, uh, within the last six months, this took off. And it's been really exciting to see these companies from all over the globe apply to get into our ag tech accelerator. You're going to hear more about that today. And tomorrow, they'll have a chance to pitch if you can join us later in the afternoon to hear from these five selected, highly selective um, guests that we'll have as they have continued to build their companies throughout this cohort experience. We also are really happy to have Sarah Ventures, which is headquartered here in Champaign, Illinois as a venture capital firm to be able to launch a new ag tech fund. And you'll hear from Dennis Beard in the investor panel, tell you more of their aims for this new fund and how they'll be able to support the growth of new ag tech companies. We'd also really like to thank the Brandt Foundation for supporting a new award, this one being for entrepreneurs that are growers or farmers themselves with ties to the University of Illinois. And you'll hear that prize given out to one of those local farmers today. We have many startup companies, and these are four that have sprouted out of the University of Illinois and gone on to achieve many milestones and success points in recent years, including EarthSense, which works on robots that are allowing us to have autonomous farming, to Aspiring Universe, working on geospatial technologies and carbon credits, Intellinaire, which works on aerial imagery and computer vision, and Epivara, working on new vaccines to impact the swine industry. And on campus, you'd see some of these new technologies really putting us at the forefront of not only science, but recognized by the National Science Foundation and allowing us to win this new AI Farms Institute, which puts us really in the leadership role around artificial intelligence and farming. And you'll also hear about this throughout the day in our programs. It's part of the Center for Digital Ag. And there is a physical place where you can see an autonomous farm on campus with four acres that will be expanded, allowing us to try new high-tech agriculture and work with industry as well. We built a new phenotyping greenhouse this year. It was constructed and it was designed and constructed in record time, allowing us to continue ripe research, which is one of the really global leading types of research that's happening on campus to engineer photosynthesis to make crops more resilient in different conditions around the world to help feed different populations. And this huge facility was constructed, the Feed Technology Center, and it was developed here in Urbana as a way to modernize the way we look at feed, and that will serve animal management, nutrition, and production differently. I think it's really important and, and to be able to recognize how many industry partners were a part of this project. So thank you to all of you that are on this call that participated in this project. It was a big team effort and it wouldn't be possible without the College of ACES receiving generous support from many different industry organizations and companies that contributed to its success. 
in the research park, not only will we see the feed mill removed to allow more land for development, the old feed mill with that new facility coming online, but we'll also see the moving of some of our swine facilities in the future and grateful for the state to invest in new facilities that will modernize this area uh, of research at the university as well. We're looking to support startup companies with new lab space in life sciences and hoping we'll get a new award that we've applied for from the state of Illinois to add growth space in the end of this year. And even bigger and more ambitious is a new incubator which received a capital appropriation as well. If you wanna get a selfie and see yourself amongst regenerative farming, there's a great opportunity. Many of us did that last year in Urbana amongst the sunflowers that were growing with one of the developers of the research park donating land that was used for a massive amount of uh, growth of sunflowers, which was the, the best picture basically to have. But they're putting that in an even bigger setting with 140 acres with 18 crops that will allow us to wander through both a mix of sunflowers, flax, flowers, buckwheat, and other crops. And that's right here in Champaign as a really, truly visually stunning setting. And before I introduce Chancellor Jones, just a little bit of the highlights of what's been happening. So next we're going to move to an introduction of our esteemed Chancellor of the University of Illinois. It's my pleasure to have the chance to introduce a true visionary and leader. And the Chancellor of the University of Illinois is always a, a favorite to introduce at this event because he's a crop physiologist. He's a scientist who grew up on a farm He's a scientist who has degrees in agronomy and a master's degree and PhD in crop physiology. He's a true leader in higher education and a proponent of land grant institutions. That's why he holds a leadership role amongst the Association of Public and Land Grant Universities and champions those 245 public universities throughout the country. Now, of course, I think he'll tell you that our university is the best amongst them. But one of the reasons that we're so proud of everything that happens at the University of Illinois is the true fusion across the different colleges and departments that make us a leader and drive new opportunities. It's my pleasure to say that uh, Chancellor Jones not only is a tenor singer, but he will probably sing the praises of the University of Illinois and the ag tech industry. Welcome, Chancellor Jones, to the sixth annual Ag Tech Innovation Summit. Good morning to each and every one of you. And Laura, that is the only singing that I do these days is sing the praises of this great university. And uh, one key component of that is singing the praises of this ag tech sector, because it really is uh, defining and redefining what we are as a land grant university. And we could not be more proud of all the work that we do together. So again, good morning. And on behalf of the University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, it is my pleasure to welcome you all to the sixth, and I might say the largest ag tech innovation summit. I am sorry that uh, COVID-19 has forced us to come together in this virtual format because I've experienced the energy and the excitement that the physical gathering of leaders from across every phase of agriculture has sparked in previous years. In fact, some of you may recall that the 2020 summit last March was among the last in-person event that I attended. And I'm sure that is true for many of you as well. I never could have imagined the course, the speed of the events that followed and the year that we all experienced. But I want to commend Laura and all of our research park colleagues for their creativity and their commitment to find ways to put the 2020 Ag Tech Summit together. And clearly one advantage of this virtual format is that this event becomes more accessible to more people in more places than probably any time in our history. It, is, it really is a personal pleasure for me to take part in this event every year, uh, because as was said as chancellor, I find myself uh, speaking at a lot of events in different groups and a wide range of events. And nearly every single one of those are outside of my so-called area of expertise or research interest. Because as she said, I started my career as a crop physiologist at the University of Minnesota 
and spent a better part of almost three and a half decades at Minnesota working on basic research to better understand and improve the resistance of cereal crops, mainly maize, uh, to environmental or global climate change. And ag technology and innovation so uh, has been the touchstone and the driver of my career. So it is awful, always joyful for me to have the opportunity to come home, if you will, and be among like-minded people who understand the fundamental value of agriculture as being very, very core to our nation and our world. But it's also enjoyable, as, as enjoyable as it may be for me to be here, it is the attendance of all of you in the audience that is so critically important to the future, future of agriculture innovation, economic vitality of the state, the nation, and the world. So the purpose of this event is to catalyze new connections and to start new collaborations that will translate into stronger and more productive and sustainable agricultural foundations for our nation and for our world. So if we're going to uh, innovate and revolutionize this sector, it will certainly require the combination of collaboration of entrepreneurs, private industry, the public sector, then university researchers. And fundamentally, when we're talking about defining the future of agriculture, we cannot even begin that conversation without our growers being at the table. And this university and this community is at the physical intersection of all of these partnerships. This summit grows in size and importance every single year. And not even a pandemic has been able to change that trajectory. So it's very exciting for me to see the level of enthusiasm is continues to be high, even in this virtual environment. And it is also gratifying to see how many of our leaders, how many more of our leaders and influence in this section and our sector is now in this uh, meeting today and how many of you, a growing number of you, circled this date on your calendar very, very early after the date is announced. It is just as rewarding to see how many of our lures, uh, leaders and influencers can trace their careers back to this university or through this university in one way or another. I think it's become abundantly clear to me since I joined the university in 2016 that whatever the future of agriculture innovation and development, wherever it may lead this world, the path of the future is going to run right through the University of Illinois, Urbana Champaign and East Central Illinois. And we are the rapidly growing, growing center of gravity for innovation, discovery and leadership in agriculture throughout this entire country. You know, when I use the term agriculture in this broadest and most comprehensive context. From molecular genetics to AI, computation, to growers, to, producer, to the production section, to supply chain and distributors of nutrition and economic opportunities, every aspect is represented in this forum today. So I am certain that that means that we are going to continue to have some amazing conversations and some important new connections will certainly come out of this event as has been the track record each and every year that we've had the great pleasure of hosting it. Agriculture technology innovation and research were the first priorities of this university when it was founded 154 years ago. And looking around this virtual room this morning, I think it's resoundingly clear that they will remain the heart hallmark of excellence of this university for the next 150 years and beyond. So again, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for being part of this critical dialogue and conversation. And I wish you a most productive summit. Thank you for allowing me to be with you. Thank you, Chancellor. What a great way to start the morning. My pleasure.